Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom, Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Uh, this video coming up is something that you have to have. You really have to have this in the Philippines. You don't have this. Uh, it's going to get quite uncomfortable for you. So hopefully you guys like this video. Yeah, this particular thing you have to have, you have to have one of these right here. This one doesn't work because I bought it used, and so it's actually uh, I'm looking for a fan motor. It needs to be taken out of here completely. And uh, I can get it fixed. It just takes time. No worries. We'll use another another piece, another part somewhere in the house. So, uh, but I want to show you something that we put in our house. This is, uh, we brought this down from upstairs over to the blessed house. This is air con of course we put it in here because right now it's uh as you can see we i got wood in between the uh, uh insulation there as you can see this is the lg model we bought it from our neighbor about probably about five years ago and we used it last year but you almost have to have it because it is literally so hot out there it is really hot um it's one of those we're in summer now so it's summers here are just really hot this is a Older unit works really good. It's cold, ice cold, so thank the Lord for that. So we got it here going. I have one in the bedroom going, so keep the house cool. We'll just leave it on for probably about an hour or so, turn it off, and we'll be fine for the rest of the day. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon, so no three o'clock in the afternoon, so we're getting the heat of the day. Uh, now, so hopefully it'll start dying down a little bit. But you know, that's the thing. You you have to be kind of really prepared. Or uh, things like this, you're going to need some type of air con. If not in your bedroom, or in the living room, or somewhere. Of course, this house is totally sealed, so I leave air con on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Cost me about 4,000 peso a month, give or take a dollar or two. Uh, I do, do use my solar, so my solar is used, uh, not as much as it was because uh, just situations just just don't you know forget to plug it in or turn on the fridge and things like that on solar but uh, we save probably about a thousand a month on solar maybe a little more electricity bill I think probably more than that we're burning about uh, uh, a kilowatt a day uh, I'm sorry yeah a kilowatt a day is about what we burn so uh, this gives you an idea so Ruth is actually outside she's putting a tape on here we'll put another board over to make it more decorative but basically it's just insulation with the a piece of plywood and uh, insulation on the outside to seal it will make it more presentable but kind of gives you an idea you have to have this if you don't have this oh boy it's hot I bought this uh, my coffee pot was sent back because the guy didn't want to deliver it so he put undeliverable on the ticket my coffee pot is sent back to Lazada they'll do that if they don't want to come to your house they'll just put undeliverable undeliverable and they still get the 15 peso they get 15 peso per delivery here and so they sent my coffee pot back. You'll have things that they'll send back, and they still get paid for it. They may not get the 15 peso, but they get money because they attempted to deliver it. Uh, so if you have 100 packages, it's 15 peso per package. So it gives you an idea what they make. But my coffee pot is, I ordered another one that's a better one this time, a lot cheaper. And I have my coffee ready to have my tea. Uh, this, was, uh, this was $7. And it is 13, I think it's 15 ounces. No, it's 11 ounces. 11 ounces for $7. I bought it at Lazada. It's cheaper on Lazada is at Robinson. Robinson is very expensive. This right here is 450 pesos normally. And you see I'm running out of that. When I run out of that, you can stick off. But I thought you guys like to see this. All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys watching our channel. And God bless.